Hello wine people, in this video I'll be talking about three different grey varieties Chenin Blanc, Semillon Blanc and Furmint. I'll explain everything that you need to know about these grapes for your WSET level 2 in wines. Wine is such an interesting topic and I think it's misunderstood um, because it can get snobby and on this channel we want to simplify the world of wine. I would love to get the opportunity to get you excited about wine. So if you are preparing for your WSET or you just want to learn a little bit about wine or you want to change the world of wine with us, this channel is for you. So let's start. Okay, wine people, in this video we will be talking about uh, Chenin Blanc, Semillon Blanc and Furment. I'll explain everything that is related to these three grey varieties for WST level 2 in wines uh, level. We'll be talk we'll, we will be covering individually viticulture, winemaking, appellations and labeling for all these three grey varieties. What you need to understand with WST uh, education, it is, it is levels. So level 1, you start slow with a little bit of information and then as, uh, as you move up, uh, you'll get more deeper and wider uh, knowledge about wine. And it's all up to you how much you want to know about wine. And don't see wine education and wine knowledge as a destination. See it as a, as a journey and enjoy it. And on the end, we will be answering 10 WST multiple choice questions. Okay. Characteristic style of Chenin Blanc. So uh, the color of Chenin Blanc is, is pale to medium. It depends on the, um, on the way that the grapes are treated in the vineyard and in, in, in the winery. So um, paler color will come from, uh, from a cooler climate and wines that are made in an inert style that are not exposed too much to, to oxygen. And then medium color will come from uh, riper grapes and wines that are exposed to oxygen, so like oak aging. Sweetness. Chenin Blanc is a very uh, versatile grape variety. It's one of the most versatile grape varieties uh, in the world. Um, and this versatility, it expresses itself uh, best in the lower region. I'll, I'll show you where, uh, where that is. Uh, it uh, produces a range of sweetness um, and also produces uh, still uh, and sparkling wines. Uh, acidity with this grape is, is high. It retains its acidity well even in a warmer climate and this acidity really helps this grape um, to produce some outstanding lusciously sweet wines and wines that can age for a longer period of time. Uh, alcohol is medium to high, medium it will be in a cooler climate, high it will be in a warmer climate. Body is light to full, again for the, for the same reasons. Uh, flavor, I'm going to mention this again and again, the, the flavor of wine uh, depends, uh, the fruit part depends on the climate. So if it's cooler climate, you're going to get fresher fruit. If it's a warmer climate, you're going to get riper fruit. So you're going to have green citrus uh, in, uh, in a region like Vauvray. And then it's going to get more tropical and ripe um, in a warmer climate like South Africa. In the vineyard, what is important for you to know here is uh, it grows in a cool to warm climate. It retains this acidity very well, even in a warm climate. A uh, cool climate will be something like Loire in France and warm climate will be something uh, like South Africa. Challenges, noble rot. It, it's not actually a challenge, it's more something that this grape variety is susceptible to. So it, uh, it's susceptible to developing a noble rot um, on its grapes, which helps this grape produce a very specific uh, sweet style of wine. 
uh, in the wine making it's usually not blended um, in Loire in Vouvray it's uh, always almost 100% uh, uh, Chenin Blanc um, in a more um, uh, lighter and entry-level wines in South Africa it can be blended with some other grape varieties but in general for premium style it's 100% uh, Chenin Blanc oak malactic conversion and lease uh, can all be used for for Chen and are used for Chenin Blanc uh, oak and uh, not so much in in Loire in Loire is more about a uh, lease aging lease to give it a little bit more texture but when it comes to uh, in South Africa, uh, you can find styles that are aged in oak. Uh, malactic conversion is something that um, that usually it's not beneficial for uh, for uh, for Chenin Blanc because it you know this acidity is really nice in Chenin and you don't want to to uh, affect it. And Chenin Blanc in South Africa, you can find examples uh, it's actually very classic for uh, Chenin Blanc to age in oak in, in South Africa development the why the Chenin Blanc can age it's um, in my opinion um, similar to Riesling Riesling can age very well Chenin Blanc uh, can age very well as well because of the high acidity and also uh, flavor intensity that comes when you treat these grapes uh, properly in order to, uh, to make a premium wine. Of course, if you have high yields, you're not gonna, this, uh, uh, this grapes will not have potential to produce premium wine that can age for a very long time in, in, in a bottle. Uh, appellations that you need to know for Chenin Blanc, um, two countries, uh, France and uh, South Africa. In France, you need to know Loire, uh, specifically appellation of Vouvray, it's a cool climate region that produces fresher style of wines, range of styles, range of sweetness, uh, still semi-sparkling, sparkling. The labeling term that you need to know in Vouvray is demi-sec. Demi-sec indicates that the wine is off dry or medium sweet. Uh, in South Africa, in Western Cape, it has a warm Mediterranean climate. Um, it can produce uh, it, it produces a more fuller style of Chenin Blanc, which is going to be dry, more riper with tropical fruit, stone fruit, uh, and often aged in oak. Uh, here you need to remember the term old wine. Old wine will, uh, will indicate that the, wines, um, uh, that the wines are made from old, old, uh, old wines, which indicates that you should expect a higher uh, quality premium wine. Uh, this is the, the map of Loire, it's divided in four sections. The one that you need to know for now for Chenin Blanc is Touarin region, which is located here, and specifically Appellation of Vouvray, which is located here. Okay? Maps are a great way to learn about wine. Me, honestly, I, I always use map just to give me more depth for me to understand where everything is uh, located. Uh, in South Africa, South Africa has many regions, but for now you just need to uh, remember uh, Southern Cape, which is basically all of this uh, here. Okay. You don't need to go into any specific appellations for Chenin Blanc for level two. Labeling uh, for Chenin Blanc. Here you see a label of uh, Vouvray wine and you see the term demi sec, which will indicate that the wine has um, sweetness. And then you can see here a label in South Africa, Chenin Blanc. You see that this was aged on surly, means uh, it was aged on, on dead yeast cells. Uh, and you can also see that the wines were aged, aged in oak. Okay, so you can expect a fuller style of Chenin Blanc compared to Vouvray. Uh, moving on, second grade variety is uh, Semillon Blanc. Uh, the, the style the Semillon is very, is very particular. It grows in particular regions in, in the world. Uh, I don't think Semillon is actually that well known. Um, and you should know it because it's, uh, it's, it's really interesting grape variety. 
the color ranges. Uh, Semillon Blanc is famous for uh, dry wines, for dry, simple wines from Bordeaux. And on the other hand, it also produces some dry premium wines, also from Bordeaux, but from region of uh, Appalachian of Pesac Leonio. And it also produces uh, sweet, lusciously sweet butterside wines from the Appalachian of Sauterne. So that's why the, the color will, uh, will change. It can be pale lemon with simple Bordeaux and it can go up to uh, medium or deep gold with, with Sauterne. Sweetness levels range. Uh, it's famous for its Sauternes, uh, lusciously sweet wines, but it also produces uh, premium and simple dry wines. Acidity is medium to high. It depends on the, um, on the ripeness level. In a warmer climate, it will be more medium. In a cooler climate, it will be high. Alcohol, low to high again, depending on the climate and the, the winemaking. Uh, body, light to full, again, depending on the, on, on the style of wine. And flavors uh, will range. A, a simple Bordeaux will be simple, fresh, uh, a premium Pesac Leonio white wine will be um, citrus, green fruit, peach, secondary aroma, aromas of oak and even tertiary aromas from, from bottle aging. Um, and Sauterne will have uh, lusciously sweet uh, wines with tropical fruit, honey, vanilla, again depending on the, on the winemaking and the viticulture. In the vineyard, what you need to know, it usually grows in a, in a, in a moderate climate. Uh, it's susceptible to noble rot. It develops noble rot on its grapes, which helps this uh, grape produce a lusciously sweet uh, noble rot wines. Uh, in the winemaking, it's, uh, it's common for Semillon Blanc in Bordeaux, especially to be uh, blended with Sauvignon Blanc. So when you hear a term uh, white Bordeaux blend, it means uh, Semillon and Sauvignon Blanc. Semillon gives us this um, texture, uh, richness, and uh, potential for aging, where Sauvignon Blanc gives us uh, freshness and aromatics. Oak, it can be aged in oak for premium style of, uh, of Bordeaux and also for Sauternes wines. And it has ability to age, uh, and especially this is uh, shown in a Hunter Valley uh, style semion, which I will explain. Appellations that you need to know for this grape variety, you need to know Bordeaux, France, you need to know uh, Australia as well. So appellations in France that you need to know everything is located in Bordeaux, but it um, there's different uh, quality levels and different styles. So you have a basic uh, Bordeaux wine, that can come from anywhere in Bordeaux. It will be light and fresh and uh, simple. And then you can have the, the wines that are coming from Graves, which is a play I'll show you on the map, uh, which is located south of the city of Bordeaux. It's a more specific appellation that you can expect uh, uh, a little higher quality than, than basic Bordeaux. And then the premium dry style of white Bordeaux will come from Pesac Leonio appellation, which produces wines that are uh, uh, aged in oak and also can age in a bottle and produce super premium wines. Bordeaux has a moderate climate, like I said, range of styles depending on the, on the quality level for dry styles of uh, Bordeaux. And then in Bordeaux, you also need to remember the appellation of uh, Sauternes. Uh, that produces lusciously sweet butter-sized wines that are also aged in oak and develop these tertiary aromas as they age in a bottle. In Australia, there's two different appellations that you need to know um, and they produce two totally different style of wine. One is uh, Hunter Valley and the other one is uh, Barossa Valley. In Hunter Valley, it's a very specific style. It's a moderate climate um, in the eastern part of, uh, of Australia. It produces dry, low alcohol uh, wine that 
when it's young, it's very, uh, it's very tart and simple. But usually these wines age for minimum five years in a bottle and develop super, uh, super complexity with primary and tertiary aromas with development in a, in a bottle. Uh, then in, in Barossa Valley, which is in Southern Australia, which has a more Mediterranean, warmer climate. Semyon here is riper, fuller, usually aged in, in oak barrels and produces uh, more, more like uh, Bordeaux, this Pesac Leonion style, but a little bit more fuller. Uh, I tried one Semyon Blanc from, from Barossa. It was one of the most fascinating white wines that I ever tried. So this is how Bordeaux looks like. So what you need to know, the Bordeaux appellation is basically, it can come from anywhere in Bordeaux, but it usually comes from this middle part, Entre du Mer. You don't need to remember that, just remember Bordeaux. Then we talked about Graves. So you have the city of Bordeaux here, and Graves is this region. That includes Pesac Leonion. So Pesac Leonion for premium wines is here. And then you have the Sautern here on the bottom for the lusciously sweet wines. Okay. In Australia, you're gonna have Barossa Valley here in Southern Australia for this more riper, fuller uh, style of Semillon Blanc. And then uh, here, actually here, is uh, Hunter Valley. Okay. This is how our label looks for, for Sautern and Hunter Valley Semyon. Just for you to see. Characteristic styles of, so the third grape variety is uh, Furment, is the name of the grape. Tokai is the name of the, of the wine. Tokai is the name of the region. And Asu indicates that the wines are uh, affected by noble rot. So Tokai grape actually produces also dry style of wines uh, but we, here we're just gonna focus for uh, the bot, uh, botrystized noble rot affected uh, Tokai wines. So the color is uh, with these wines are golden um, there's gonna be they're gonna be lusciously sweet this is one of the most um, lusciously sweet wines in the world. Uh, acidity with this, uh, Tokai has high acidity, which helps with lusciously sweet wines to balance the sweetness. It enables uh, for these wines to age for a very long time. Alcohol is, it can be medium, it can be on the lower side as well. Uh, these wines are gonna be full, uh, full body with high intensity, pronounced flavor, um, uh, really intense uh, flavor and texture and are going to be complex. They're going to have primary, secondary and tertiary aromas. Uh, Tokai region is in northern, uh, northeastern um, uh, uh, Hungary uh, where it has a cool continental climate. Uh, it's susceptible to a noble rot so it produces this lusciously sweet wines. Um, Varietal, it is vari it can produce varietal wines, but uh, especially for Tokai, it is blended with other grape varieties like like Muscat. Uh, it it is aged in uh, definitely aged in oak in Tokai, and has uh, amazing ability to age and develop complexity. So the appellations that you need to know the region is uh, the country is uh, Hungary. Um, Tokai is the, is the region, it has a cool continental climate, it is um, aged in oak and is affected by noble rot. The labeling terms that you need to uh, know for Tokai wines is Azu. Azu indicates that the wines are affected by noble rot. Uh, and Putons is the terminology that indicates the level of sweetness. So. Usually it has from three to six uh, putons, and with more putons comes more sweetness in the wine. Puton is basically like a measurement 
that they use in Tokai to measure how much uh, azu grapes they have in, in the wine. More azu grapes, potricized grapes, more sweeter wine. So this is uh, how, uh, just for you to understand the location of uh, Tokai, uh, Tokai region is located here in the north northeastern corner of Hungary, so cool continental climate and actually one small part of the region is actually located in the region of uh, Slovakia. This is how the labels look like. So you can see here the name of the producer and Tokaj Azu which indicates uh, Noble Rot wines and you can see the level of Putoins. So here is 5, here is 3. Now we have all this knowledge, let's test it. 10 uh, questions, which of these grapes are, is used, uh, is producing sweet wines? Chenin Blanc, Semillon Blanc, Fourmit, all the above. That is one, uh, the correct answer is D, all the above. One common thing with, uh, with all these grapes is that they are famous for uh, sweet wines that they produce. Chenin Blanc is used for which wine? Tokai, Vouvray, Grave, Hunter Valley. The correct answer is B, Vouvray. Which wine has fullest body? And I'll explain. The idea here is for you not to um, uh, guess which wine has the fullest body. It's for you to understand why I'm asking this question. So. The question is, which wine has fullest body? Hunter Valley Semyon, Vouvray, Barossa Valley Semyon, Bordeaux Appellation uh, Semyon. So the correct answer is C, Barossa Valley Semyon. How you're going to answer this um, question correctly? Well, you need to understand the, the climate and also the wine making style of wines made in this appellation. So if we know that Barossa Valley has a warm Mediterranean climate and that the wine can age in, in oak barrels, this will give a wine that is full body. When we know that Hunter Valley has a more moderate climate and particular style is light, uh, light alcohol, high acid, this is a more lighter style of wine. Vouvray, cool climate, lighter style of wine. Bordeaux Semillon is a lighter, simple style from a more moderate climate. Which wine is off dry? Vouvray Demi Sec, Tokayazu, Sotern, Pesac, Leonio White. The correct answer is Vouvray. It indicates with the term Demi Sec that is um, off dry. And all other wines are Tokai is lusciously sweet, Sotern is lusciously sweet, and Pesac Leonio uh, will always be dry. Which region has warmest climate? Bordeaux, Western Cape, Vouvray, Tokai. The correct answer is B, Western Cape. Why is this important? It's because for you to understand from a warmer climate, you can expect a fuller style and riper style of wines. Which wine is dry, low alcohol and complex aromas developed in a bottle? Sotern, Vouvray, Hunter Valley Semyon, Tokayasu. The correct answer is C. This is a, ver a very particular style of uh, Semyon wine from Hunter Valley. Sotern, lusciously sweet. Vouvray will be dry or dry, but usually not, it's not very classical for wines to develop these tertiary aromas. They can, but it's not very uh, classical and traditional. And Tokayasu will be uh, lusciously sweet. Term Putoins indicates level of dryness in Tokai, duration of oak aging in Tokai, level of sweetness in Tokai, level of complexity in Tokai. The correct answer is C, the level of sweetness in Tokai. Which region is not classic for Semillon Blanc wines? White Bordeaux, Vouvray, Hunter Valley Semillon, Barossa Valley. The correct answer is B, Vouvray. High acidity in wine is beneficial for sweet wines. True or false? The correct answer is true. 
high acidity um, enables uh, sweet wines to have good balance otherwise they would be too sweet which region is in Bordeaux so turn Tokai Vouvray Barossa Valley the correct answer is a so turn Tokai is in Hungary Vouvray is in Loire Barossa Valley is in South Australia tell me how many questions you did right and tell me and uh, let me know if you have any questions my people thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and thank you so much for all your support uh, please consider uh, subscribing sharing commenting on our videos because this will help us uh, to grow our wine channel and to change the world of wine together i'll see you in the next video